Okay, we're going to do another example of finding the slope of the tangent line to a function. And here the function is the square root of x, and we want to find the slope of the tangent line to the square root of x when x is equal to 1. So we're going to do the same thing as last time. We're going to start with just the definition of the derivative. Just write that out so we know what we're dealing with. It's this limit here. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Okay, and just like we did in the last video, we're going to plug this 1 in for x. And that will, that will be our starting point. So we'll start with... The limit as h approaches 0 of f of 1 plus h, sorry, 1 plus h minus f of 1, divided by h. And now all we have to do is uh, plug in these values in for x. So 1 plus h and 1. Okay, so this is the limit as h approaches 0 of the square root of 1 plus h minus the square root of 1 all divided by h. And I'm just going to simplify in this step. We know the square root of 1 is just 1, so let me write that out now. And now this is a limit that we learned how to solve when we were, um, when we were learning how to solve limits. So what are we going to do? We're going to multiply by the conjugate. So if you don't remember how to do this, uh, I'll put a link to the video in which we learn this. So we're going to multiply by the square root of 1 plus h plus 1. And of course we have to multiply um, by this. We, we have to multiply using a fraction because we can only multiply by 1. Otherwise we're going to change the limit. So we do that. And we get the limit as h approaches 0. Well, th these square roots will square, and we'll get 1 plus h, and then minus, um, this will be uh, uh, minus 1. So again, go back and watch the other video if you don't remember how to do that. Essentially, we're just using the difference of squares here. So we'll get this squared minus this squared. Okay. And this is now going to be over h times the square root of 1 plus h plus 1. Okay, so all we're really doing here is the algebra of limits now. So this 1 and this 1 are going to cancel, so I'll do that in this step. And that means that, that we can actually cancel these h's. Or sometimes what I like to say is divide them to 1. So this is the limit as h approaches 0 of 1, because this these divided out to 1, uh, over the square root of 1 plus h. Oops, let me be a little bit more neat about that. 1 plus h plus 1. For some reason, my pen tablet is kind of losing sensitivity of when I lift the pen. Okay, anyways, now we can actually go ahead and plug this 0 in for h. There's no conflict anymore, so we'll do that. And this becomes the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus 0 is just the square root of 1, which is just 1, so 1 plus 1. With, oops, sorry, not the limit. Sorry, not the limit. 
we've plugged that zero in. So this is one divided by one plus one. So again, not to confuse you, this zero came in for the h, then the square root of, it's just one plus zero, which is one. The square root of one is simply, again, one. So we have one divided by one plus one, which of course is equal to one half. Okay, so the slope of the tangent line to the square root of x, when x is one, the slope of that tangent line is one half. So let me erase this work and we'll, we'll, we'll try and make some sense out of that. So um, this is kind of what the square root function looks like. So what we said was when x is 1, the tangent line has a slope of 1 half. And sorry, I, I, I meant to prepare a graph beforehand so it would look nice and neat, but I forgot to. So, but, but you get the idea. The slope of this tangent line here is 1 half. That's what we figured out. Okay, see you in the next video.